You talking to the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, high wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It's that uncultured heathen. It's your boy Beef. We're here today. First off, I want to thank everybody. We had a live today. We was going to go one to three. We actually went one to about 4.15. So thank everybody for showing up. We talked about the lexicon that I went to. We showed off what we got, what we got autographed, whoop de woo whatever. Talked about who we met, who we saw, all that kind of stuff. But for those of y'all who didn't get to make it for a live, I'm going to try to do a quick video and show some things. And I may tomorrow or sometime do another video and do a little bit of talking about who all we met and who we saw, stuff like that. So, for those who didn't see it, I'll give you a little glimpse. But thank everybody that showed up, showed support. We had a really great live. I want to thank everybody. So, without further ado, I'm going to get the old man goggles on and we're going to get to it. So, most of this stuff here in the beginning, this is my wife's stuff. But we show her stuff as well. She's a big Charm fan. This is the main reason we went down there. So she got that comic autograph. And she got a couple more Charm comics. Okay. I'm going to try to go pretty quick. Then she got some of the Vanderpump people's autographs and stuff like that. I really don't know all their names. But I know Jax. I don't really remember the rest of the names. But. They were all real nice and had some cool stories with them and everything. But she got all those. She got that one. Then she got some more of the charm. All right. Got that. Mostly what we got was a lot of autographs and hopefully I don't get banned for this one. I'll just show a quick glimpse, but she did get that. Uh, but everything's covered up, so it should be okay. And then she's got this book, the Book of Shadows or whatever, and this has all the DVDs from the seasons in it or whatever. We did take those out when we went down there. But she's got most of their autographs, got a few more to go. But was able to get that kind of stuff for her, and that's the main reason we went. As y'all know, I do like t-shirts and stuff. So I try to wear shirts. Not always wrestling, but sometimes if I'm showing something. So I got this Princess Bride. We do have some Princess Bride t-shirts coming up pretty soon. So I got that. I really won't worry about folding them now. I'm going to hang them up. We got a Masters of the Universe. Got that to the door. We got, if I can get it. We got a Street Fighter right there. And last but not least, we got Universal Monsters t-shirt. We're gonna start opening some of them from Jada Toys pretty soon on the channel. So you will see these shirts being worn. Uh, picked up a few toys, but not many. I did get this G2 Megatron, thanks to Bartman and TNT and them helping me out. Showing me what to pick, what to get at a good price. So we got that, and then we got this GoBot, the Puzzler. I can't remember all the names of the cards. Somebody out there knows, you can tell me. I know there's Jigsaw and Tic Tac, stuff like that. But we got that. Then we got this Beast Man right here, which is a different Beast Man than I was known of. So I got it just because it was different. Uh... We got some autographs. I did meet I did meet the real Mick Foley. And then I did meet somebody dressed up as uh, Mankind. And after he took the picture, he gave me his sock. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but here's the real Mankind Cactus Jack. We got that autographed. We got two Jake the Snakes autographed. We got the regular and the Chase of the Legends. So that was good to get. Uh, we did meet Al Snow. He does do comic books. 
So we did get an autographed comic book and stuff like that. Uh, did meet a couple of the gladiators. So we got that autographed. So really, some really nice pieces to add to our little autograph collections. And then I was able to get some Sergeant Slaughter autographs. We got this G.I. Joe autograph by Slaughter. As y'all see, if y'all hadn't checked the videos, he cut a promo with me and put me in the camel clutch. And then while we was on the live, we opened up the Sarge. So he got some weapons and extra hands and stuff in here. But we opened that on the live. Uh, we do have two more Sergeant Slaughter action figure signs. Got the big rubber guys. And then we got the Ultimate Edition Coliseum Collection. And we do have it signed in two places. Right there. So. You know, you... You got to see everything on the live, but this is just a quick rendition, and I know everybody could be there for the whole thing. So if you did miss some stuff, go back. Maybe you can catch it on here. We did get some comic books. I'll try to run through them if we have the time. But this was my first ever graded comic book, and I just picked comics for the cover. So I picked this because we just had this figure released not too long ago in Marvel Legends. So I plan on maybe putting it in that pose on the flight stand and having this up in front of it on my little shelf when I get new shelves in. So we do have that through the door. And we got a lot of Transformers, in case I don't get to them all. We did get Thundercats number one issue. Got that. We did get a G.I. Joe number one issue. And then the rest of the stuff is just kind of filler books. You know, but I like the Joes and most of them I get for the cover. Some I just got, some were gave to me and stuff like that. And some I just got for the covers. So we're going to run through some of these. Try not to go too fast. I mean, too slow. I know everybody wants to see the covers, but you can always pause it. It is on video, but some really nice GI Joe comics. We did get a few more Thundercats, some few more Transformers, and stuff like that. Now, I would have probably harped on more action figures and stuff, but we were flying, so it was hard to kind of keep that much, get that much on the plane. So, the next one we will be driving to, it'll be in the Dallas area. Uh, it'll be June 7th, I believe. So, if you're in the area, close to here try to get to it come out if you see me come up holler at me whoop de woo whatever so i don't know if we're gonna make it through all the other comics but here's some of the thundercats and then we got transformer comics more transformer comics we got the first appearance of skylinks right there more Transformers. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, first appearance of the Predacons right there. Like I said, just some different comic books. I've been getting on this Transformer kick. So we got those. Got those. Got some more. I know, I'm sorry it's so fast. Maybe I can do one later. It won't be as fast. Got first appearance of the Dinobots. And then more Transformers. And we're about at the 10 minute mark, so I'm running a little faster. I apologize. We got G.I. Joe and Transformers. But I don't have the whole set. And let's see if we're gonna make it. That one I really like, that Blade and Wolverine cover. And some X-Men. And one other thing, we did get a Sergeant Slaughter coin and stuff. So it looks real good. But that's about all I can do to catch y'all up. I'll try to get more later. But you know, I may be leaving, but I'm still that uncultured heathen.